And this bout to determine who will be crowned the STBA Scottish Thai Boxing Champion. Both very aggressive fighters. This is going to shape up to be a very exciting match. Round one. Round one of this five round fight, full tie rules, five three minute rounds. Absolutely, Lynn. And this, of course, to determine who will be crowned the STBA Scottish Thai Boxing Champion. Title currently vacant, and of course, this is a rematch as well between these two chaps who have squared off here before on a previous Super Showdown. And just remind me again, Dougie, who won in that last bout? Actually, I cannot remember. <laughs> okay. So thanks for that one, Lynn. <laughs> yeah, no problem. And if you're tuning in to, or logging on rather, to YouTube just now and you're in work, get back to work, guys. But I tell you what, I don't think the ropes are going to see much action here. Both these guys like to stand in the middle of the ring and go toe to toe. So I expect this one to be explosive, if nothing else. Left kick for left kick there from T and Alan. Alan seems to be moving forward a little bit stronger than T is at the moment and being very aggressive with the low kick. Alan is known for his aggression, certainly, even in the earlier rounds. Usually a kind of feel out phase of the fight, isn't it, Lynn? Absolutely. In Thailand, obviously, the first two rounds are normally scored quite evenly unless something spectacular happens. Um, so because of this, a lot of Thai fighters tend to take the first two rounds quite easy, feel each other out, and then the rounds three, four, and five, which are then scored uh, with a little bit more weighting than the first two, they start to really push forward and assert their That's dominance. The championship rounds, as they call them out there. But we're here and now in round one between this match made at 71 kilograms both fighters bang on 70.5 kilograms for this T just going for an overhand right there yeah teen's very very known for his uh, strong right hand alan seems to be moving forward here again um attacking the lead leg i'd like to see t blocking those low kicks interesting fact as well alan strachan recently crowned the spmf scottish Thai boxing champion just about three weeks ago, in fact. So he, he's an active fighter, he's a busy fighter. T, personally haven't seen him since the last Super Showdown. Um, yeah, I hope uh, Ring Rust doesn't play a factor for T in this bout. And there's a lot riding on the line, obviously, with the belt and the title um, up, up for grabs here. Lovely left kick from Timotin Yildrum there, and again, unanswered. Lush. Alan Strachan then returns a left kick to the body of his own. T just trying to find position, find range with that leading jab. And into the clinch, I think, for the first time of the fight. Absolutely, Diggy. This, this, this is the first time we've seen them in the clinch. A lot of times in the first couple of rounds, the fight, fighters will feel each other out in the clinch as well, starting to see who's a little bit stronger. Interesting first round. And...
corners, 10 seconds. Seconds out. Round two. Well, here we go, round two, and I expect we'll see them begin to pick up the pace now. Alan Strachan always wants to come out of the box strong and aggressive. Nice scoring left there from Timuchin. He seems to be holding his ground a little bit better. And Alan's pushing forward hard, though, landing that right low kick. I can't help but think that Alan will come into this fight with huge confidence after his recent win over Ross Miller from Carnage Muay Thai. Trying to unload a heavy boxing combination to the head of Timachin Yildrum, but Timachin just got out of danger on time there. Yeah, Alan seems very dangerous with those heavy hands of his. T really needs to start blocking those low kicks, though. He doesn't want those low kicks slowing him down. Looks like a hard, you know, you train with T. Tell me, has he got a good left body kick on it? I mean, it looks like it. Yeah, T's, T's kicking is excellent. Um, it's very deceptive as well. Um, he's got those bone-breaking kicks that kind of land in your arms and you feel the bone crunching. But I definitely say T's strongest point is either his clinching or that horrendous right hand that he can just seem to catch you from all different angles. Of course, he'll be looking to drop some bombs here against Alan Strachan tonight, but so far, Alan not phased by anything in T's arsenal. Still early on in the fight, of course, and we've beyond this one. Hopefully, we've got our three fabulous rounds to come, but our very first elbow of the fight thrown by Timuchin. Yeah, beautiful timing on that as well. Close the distance perfectly. Starting to block those low kicks now, which is great. Nice scoring left body kick, replied very well by Allen. You know, I think T won the first fight. It's coming back to me now. They fought on a previous Super Showdown, and I think T Machine won that, and it was a narrow points decision. But I could be wrong. Well, regardless of who won the last bout, both have a lot riding here, and whoever lost in the last one has a lot to prove, and obviously the title is on the line as well. A reminder for the folk just watching this at home or in work. We have in the blue corner from Aberdeen Martial Arts Group, Alan Strachan wearing the black shorts and blue gloves. And in the white Grip House shorts, we have Timachin Yildrum from Caledonian Muay Thai or Grip House Gym in Glasgow. Those low kicks seem to be starting to take effect. Um, is breaking T's balance with those low kicks now. So these low kicks are actually, in fact, scoring. Usually if the low kick lands and is not shown to have a visible effect on the opponent's balance, then they don't score, but these are now knocking T off his, off, off his base. So on our unofficial score, scorecard, Lynn, how are we looking at it so far? Well, to be honest, I still have these rounds both 10-10 with a, a little star to to Alan, um, it's normally how they're scored in Thailand as well, they're usually scored quite evenly, and then whoever seems to be winning the round a little bit more dominant gets a little mark.
Corners, 10 seconds. Seconds out. Round three. On to the first of the scoring rounds now in Muay Thai. Um, round three, T needs to start um, asserting his dominance here, holding his ground a little bit more. Alan Weaver seems to be, uh, Alan Strachan, sorry, excuse me, was moving forward uh, very aggressively in the first two rounds. And already some nice kick exchanges and that devilish right punch from Timachin. But as you say, Lynn, we really are into the business end of the fight now, rounds three, four, and five. Lovely kick and return from Alan Strachan. And these two fighters are very evenly matched. Just another example of the expert matchmaking by our promoter this evening, Brian Calder at BC Promotions. But it is tit for tat, isn't it? Absolutely, both fighters are scoring very well. And one will score, the other one will respond and even it out. And these look like big right hands coming from Strachan now as well. Yeah, absolutely. Alan's, Alan looks like he's got very heavy hands. Beautiful left kick there from, from T. I, th I think both fighters are relatively new to the full tie rules scene, which it would explain that so far we've not seen much in the way of elbows thrown. Just as you said that there, Diggy. Um, Alan was stepping in and T threw his beautiful inward elbow right into the center of Alan's guard. It'll, it'll always happen. I, I'm convinced they can hear what I'm saying and they just fight in such a way as to contradict me. Oh, well-timed teep there just as Timachin was on the, on the way forward, taking straight off balance. Beautiful left kick again then from T and a lean back from Alan's reply. Very controlled so far, both guys, aren't they? Absolutely, both both fighters taking center ring very well. I think they're just trying to push forward a little bit, but both both fighters have very aggressive styles and they just seem to be canceling each other's forward movement out. I did say before this fight started that the ropes wouldn't see much action and at least that's living up to, to my expectations. Both guys happy to stand in front of each other and just trade shot for shot. Absolutely, Dougie, that was a great prediction there. <clears throat> nice turn onto the ropes there from T. A good sign of dominance, breaking breaking your opponent's bounce like that. Scoring well and with downward, the knees as well. Sorry to interrupt, downward spike elbow there from Alan Strachan, attempted, not quite landed as he would have liked. And end of the round. Yeah, excellently, excellent third round there.
Corners, 10 seconds. Seconds out. Round four. And well, here we go again into round four. And this really is the business end of the contest. Neither fighter really shown much in the way of fatigue so far, so I can only assume they've come to this match well conditioned. Absolutely, both fighters are also displaying beautiful Muay Thai technique. Um, really here to play the game as well as um, instill their game plan, which is just to move forward with strong hands. And these shots as they land, Lynn, we, you know, we're lucky enough to be sat ringside, but you can really hear the impact as the shots go in, punches and kicks. These, these shots have been thrown full force now. Absolutely, Dougie. I mean, the Muay Thai kick is basically as, as effective as a baseball bat swing. That's essentially what it is. We always, Muay Thai fighters always strike with the shin, which is essentially just a baseball bat. Beautiful scoring shots here from T, landing flush onto the ribs of Allen. Yeah, Allen, of course, returning shots, but often going for low kicks instead of the higher scoring body kicks. That's absolutely right, Dougie. If, if a fighter hits you with a body kick, it's in, in order to equalize the scoring, you must hit them in the body kick or off balance them in some other fashion. Beautiful step in, jumping knee to the body of Allen Strachan there from T, which in the in a lovely body shot with a kind of right hook. At the tie-up in the clinch here, you can see T's got a bit more of a dominant position. Um, you can see his head position and then throwing Allen to the ground there. And what a belt it is as well we have up for grabs tonight. The STBA Scottish title. Oh, really, the STBA belt has been held by the best fighters ever to come out of Scotland. It's the longest established sanctioning body in the country and all of the best fighters in Scotland have held one of these belts at some point across different weight categories. So whoever wins this fight tonight is going to be in good company. Yes, you can tell both fighters really want the title. Fighting hard, beautiful Muay Thai. Great off-balancing shots from T there. Former Commonwealth champion Rab Burke just breaking that clinch, deciding it was not active enough. I'm inclined to agree there. High kick from Timachin, teep back from Alan Strachan. Again, T attempts a high kick only to be teeped away by Alan Strachan and end of round four. Action packed round four there, Dougie. Absolutely, and with only one round to go, how do you see this fight going, Len, on your unofficial scorecard? Well, unofficially, of course, I would say T is slightly edged ahead here. Um, he's scoring kicks very well, it's off balancing Allen, and Allen, Allen as though, even though he's replying, they're not off balancing enough to equalize the scoring.
Corners, 10 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, please get behind both fighters as we move in to the fifth and final round. Seconds out. Round five. And here we go into the fifth and final round of this Scottish title contest between in the red corner, Timothy Yildrum, and in the blue corner, Alan Strachan from Aberdeen. Yes, I think Alan senses that he's behind on points here. He's come out of the corner absolutely guns blazing, trying to take T out of the game. I think Alan has realized that the only way he can win this fight now is by knocking T out. Oh, and a beautiful straight right from Timothy for by left hook. Unanswered. Left body kick, right body kick in return from Alan Strachan. Kick for kick here in the fifth round. Allen still pushing forward aggressively. He does need to score though, rather than attacking the leg, he needs to go up to the body. Alan Strachan just using this push off Teep Piero. I think as much to keep Timachin out of range. Timachin certainly being the slightly taller fighter on the Ranger fighter. Strachan just trying to keep him at bay with that Teep. Oh, beautiful. Caught the right body kick, stepped in with a right knee of his own. Yeah, those long knees score extremely highly in Muay Thai. They're very, very difficult to land, hence they score so well. He's done a good job here of not being drawn into any, anything too crazy, has he? He seems to have come to the ring with a clear game plan and stuck to it. Yeah, he's very, very, very disciplined. He's not letting Allen draw him into any kind of brawl. He's also tying Allen up very well and he's moving forwards, staying out of trouble. Oh, beautiful overhand right there. I think just whistled past the face of Timothy Nildrum. Beautiful lean back there. Alan Strachan just catches the right body kick, spins it off and delivers a kick to the lower back of Timothy. Exciting stuff this, isn't it, one? Very much so. He's scoring very well with those body kicks. Allen seems like he can't find his range for those body kicks. T has shown great Muay Thai, Muay Thai technique in, clo in the closing round of this fight now. Um, Allen seems to be struggling a bit. And here to present tonight's winner with their new title belt, please welcome to the ring this evening's promoter from BC Promotions, Brian Calder himself. Uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, please, your appreciation for both fighters. And after the full five rounds, we now go to the judges' scorecard. And the judges have reached a unanimous decision in favor of your winner and the new Scottish Thai boxing champion. In the red corner, Timotin Yildrum. And your appreciation, please, for a very great effort from Alan Strachan.